Hey folks, that fix it guy here. And today we're gonna be installing this scrubby holder inside of our sink. This actually should be mounted down here. My wife eventually was like, look, it needs to get back on. So that's what we're gonna do. Come along, let's get to fixing. So I actually had to remove this a little while ago whenever I end up caulking between the countertop and the sink. I'll put a link for that video in the description box, right? It's just something my contractor didn't do. You should check it out. If yours is not caulked or siliconed, you should put something in between there. You do not want any kind of funky getting in there and growing and living because that's what it does, okay? This bad boy, I love it, super minimal. It just goes and sits right down in here. But the problem was I ripped off the adhesive and we didn't have any more. Bam, Amazon. Hooked a couple of these bad boys up. It actually came in a two pack. It might've been like three or four or five bucks, whatever. I'll put a link in the description box. I think it's only a couple bucks. But one of the cool things about this, which I just found out is this. This is the card that came with it. And it says to get more adhesive, it's not reusable, but please contact us by email and we'll send it to you for free. How cool is that? All right, really, that's cool of a company. So, I mean, I bought a couple, but it's nice to know that I may never have to buy them again, right? Because this is just a bent piece of stainless steel and it's cool. I mean, I like it. So, we looked at a it's funny because we looked at a couple different ones too. We thought about changing it out because once you tear it off, well, that's the time. But this is just nice. It's minimal. We don't have to have a lot of clutter around our sink and we kind of like that. So to put this on, the first thing you're going to do is you want to clean the area. Me, um, I probably could have just wiped it down, but I'm just going to choose to use a little bit of alcohol on it. Nothing crazy. And just wipe off the area where it's going to go. Get that all nice and clean. So you wanna grab this little adhesive pad, right? And it's got a couple hooks on it. It actually is not gonna matter which way you put this because all you're doing is putting this on there and it's gonna work out. Um, I'm personally going to get this to where it is hooked up into it just because there's a lower profile up top. I mean, I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference. It's still, once you clip this in, it's pretty hard to pull out and we're only putting a sponge in this, right? So I don't think it's going to make a bit of a difference. If it does, I got another one. So you're just going to take this, just peel off one of the edges. I'm just going to try to hold it by these. Get it right where you want it. Try to make sure it's as level as it'll get. Rub it down to get any of the air bubbles out. And I mean, these things are crazy sticky. I mean, really. Just clip that right up in place. And bam, we're hooked up, man. We're back in the game. So it does say right there to hang the shelf on the hooks and wait five hours to use. Well, I can tell you this thing barely weighs anything. I don't really see it as, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna add much weight to make this thing fall off. So I think we're gonna be safe to use it. Now let's run out the yard real quick. I have some I wanna show you that I bought at the same time as the adhesives and I wanna know your guys' opinion. I wanna know what you think. I'm not gonna review this product yet, but I just wanna show it to you. All right, so I ended up buying an expandable hose. Um, kinda crazy, I, mean, I guess it was a little bit of a whim, but you know, I hurt my shoulder. It seemed like it was a lot lighter, better than lugging the other one around or connecting dual hoses. This one actually goes from a 30 foot to a 100, so it's kinda crazy, man. Well, I just wanted to see what you folks out there thought. Like, does anybody use these things? Have you had longevity in it? I mean, the reviews were pretty good and I don't know. I just figured I'd give it a shot. All right, so I got a honeydew knocked out. No matter how small it was, my wife is gonna be thrilled. I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And please, let me know what you think about the expandable hoses. Do you guys own them? Have you used them? Are they crap? 
Like I've never used one and I'm certainly not gonna review it until I've used it for a little while. So far, I really like it. I mean, I like that I have one hose that's 100 foot. I don't have to be connecting hoses. It's definitely nowhere near as heavy as my other hose. I know it's not as good a quality, but we'll just see how well it lasts. I really hope you folks are enjoying the channel. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.